How you all doing? Great to see this crowd today. I was uh, tickled pink to see how many people showed up in uh, Broken Arrow, and I know we're going to be picking up more along the way. Uh, you know, when we were offered the opportunity to uh, to join ranks with OK for T and the Tulsa 912 Project and Randy Brogdon and Congressman John Sullivan and a lot of the other politicians that are with us today, for me it was a no-brainer. We had to be here. It's it's it's, it's sort of it's sort of sad that other radio stations aren't here with you too. This is Oklahoma. You know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Randy mentioned how the, the the mainstream media tries to, to portray the Tea Party movement as some sort of extremist right wing group. No, it's 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 it's, it's mainstream America. You know, I, I chose to move here about three years ago, and and I've grown to love <laughs> Oklahoma and its people. And you've got you've got so much potential here. Yet, for many years, the the, the legislature, sadly the governor's office, has stood in the way. And we're really, we're on the verge of something big, something huge here. Next next Wednesday, we could have for the first time in your history, a Republican-controlled House, Senate, and Executive Branch. And, and as Randy said, you know, I'm, I'm expecting this is just the beginning. We're expecting some big changes. Now that you guys have actually got control, I want to see what a difference the Republican right. Party can make, especially when it comes to making this state business friendly. Yep. You know, you've probably heard me talk on the radio program. We have got so much to offer here. We've got a great workforce. We've got great resources. You know, you've got an, you really, you're centrally located. You've got an ideal climate. You've got, you've got natural gas. You've got oil. You've got water, which is like gold in other states, yet we keep losing businesses right. to states like Texas. What does Texas have that we don't have? They, they don't have a corporate income tax. They don't have personal income tax. We need the Republicans, and this is, this is where we, we come in. This is just the start. we got to hold their feet to the fire Amen. and make sure that they deliver on the and at the national level, you know, we've got, a, we've got a great team. We've got Jim Inhofe, you've got Tom Coburn, we've got Woo! John Woo! Sullivan here. Yeah. What these guys are going to do is, is they're going to turn back. They can't do it all at once, but bit by bit, they've got to turn back Obamacare and, and, and take our country back yeah. from the people yeah, yeah, who have yeah, hijacked it. Yeah. Yeah. What, what I need you to do, a couple things. First of all, if you guys aren't familiar with all of the ballot questions, they're going to be on the back of your ballot next Tuesday. You know, I had Randy Brogdon on the program yeah. Yeah. this this past week, and we went through each one of them. Randy, Randy even went so far as to tell us how he's going to vote. He's got three no votes. If you don't have that state ballot, uh, the state ballot questions, they're up on our website, 1170kfaq.com. Just go to Pat Campbell's blog. You can see how Randy's going to vote. Download a copy of those ballots for yourself, for your spouse, if you've got children that are of voting age. Download it for them. If you've got, you know, elderly parents, download it for them. If you've got neighbors, download it for them. So they don't walk into the voting booth on Tuesday, flip it over and go, what the heck's this all about? You know? And the other thing you need to do, not only don't don't just get yourself out to vote, your spouse out to vote again. If you've got children of voting age, get them out. If you've got neighbors, you know, elderly neighbors that can't get volunteer to drive them to the polls. Don't take anything for granted. Please, please. Don't let me be the guy that wakes up Wednesday morning Amen. and tells you that Jerry Askins is your new governor. Oh. Don't put me in that unenviable position, please. So, you know, get everybody fired up, get them out to vote. And like like Randy said, this is just the start. Thank you everyone for being out here. And you come out to these events like this and you see signs like this and, and everyone talks about the future of our nation lies in the hands of the men and the women who are on this board, who are willing to make the sacrifice to run for office. But the reality is, is that the future of our nation does not lie in these hands. It lies in the hands of those people who go to vote on Tuesday. And the fact is, is that every single one of us has the capacity to change the world in which we live at the local, state, and national level if we just do something small, and that is walk into a voting place and vote. The fact is that you're here today because you know and understand the importance of being able to exercise that right and the lives that were lost to give you that right. But the reality is this parking lot is filled with people who have not even thought about a state question or who they're going to vote for on Tuesday. It is our responsibility as voters is to be able to get our friends and our family 
to the polling place to be able to exercise that right so that way we can pass the baton of leadership to the men and women who are on this wall so that way they can be able to take the conservative values that we believe in to be able to do what it is that we need them to do. If you believe as strongly as you claim to believe, it's not about you walking to the poll, it's about you getting everyone you know to the poll so that way we can make the statement that we need to have made for the rest of the state and the nation to understand that it is conservative values that got us to where we are and it is conservative values that will get us to where we need to be. Thank you guys very, very much. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, I'm honored to be part of this this uh, celebration of America today with you. And uh, really tickle pink that so many people showed up today and have joined us at various points uh, along the, uh, the caravan. You know, Tuesday is a very, very important day. We're on, the, we're on the brink of something big here. For the first time in Oklahoma history, you can have a situation where the Republicans have control of the House, have control of the Senate, and have control of the executive branch. And it's finally a chance for us to make Oklahoma everything that it can be, including business friendly. We want to end the days where we're losing jobs to states like Texas because they have no corporate income tax. They have no personal income tax. This state has so much to offer, but we've got to get the right people into office to make it business friendly. The other thing I want to talk to you about before I bring Congressman Sullivan up is the state ballot questions. When you go to vote Tuesday, when you flip that ballot over, there's going to be 11 questions on the back. You have a right, a responsibility as a voter to read those in advance, to get informed, to know what they are, and more importantly, to know how you're going to vote. Now, I'm not going to talk about all 11, but for example, state question 744, school funding. You have got to vote no. This is not the way to help our kids. You want to help our kids? Vote for Janet Parisi, okay? Yeah. If 744 passes, it will devastate this state. Every Amen. other department Amen. will have to cut its budget by at least, listen to me, at least 20%. You can't allow that to happen. Get informed. All of the ballot questions, they're up on our website at 1170kfaq.com. Go there. Go to Pat Campbell's blog. If you want to find out how Randy Brogdon's voting, had him on the program Monday. His votes are up there. Get informed. Run off a copy for yourself, for your spouse. If you have children that are of voting age, if you've got parents that are seniors, maybe neighbors that don't know about it, run off extra copies. They're up on our website. Enough about that. We've got a lot of uh, politicians here today, people, good people that are running for office that we want you to support. And I want to start, first of all, with Congressman John Sullivan. Thank you, Matt. I just want to uh, take a moment to, first of all, thank all of you for taking time out of your, your Saturday, your free day, to stand up for what's right. It's been a pleasure to meet uh, a lot of listeners, many for the first time today. I'm, uh, I'm actually I'm honored to be part of this event, and, and I'm thankful that I was invited to be here. I, 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 feel, I feel at home. People have been asking me, well, how do you like Oklahoma? How do you like Tulsa? I'm in the right place at the right time, and although I was raised and grew up in the Northeast, I really feel at home here because I'm among people that think like me, believe like me, and act like me, and I, and I finally feel like I'm home, and I mean that sincerely. A um, couple of things, uh, obviously, you know, we've been talking to the different stops today, telling you what we need to do. You know, go to that website, 1170KFAQ. Dot com. Go to Pat Campbell's blog. Download those ballot questions for yourself, your spouse, if you've got children that are of voting age, um, parents, maybe, maybe seniors in your neighborhood. Just make sure everybody knows what they're going to vote on. If nothing else, vote no on state question 744. It would, it would just cripple, cripple the budget. And you all know what you need to do. What I want you to do on Tuesday is to go out and do the right thing. And then, Wednesday morning, join me, PC, 6 to 9 a.m., Talk Radio 1170, KFAQ, for the biggest victory party we've ever thrown. Amen!